Hey guys, how's it going? It's B Luminous here again. And today I'm doing a vlog for you guys. So I'm actually doing more vlogs now, or I want to get into vlogs and I want to kind of show you guys the world where I do multiple businesses and I and how I go on basically about my day and whatnot. And today actually I'm focusing on two businesses, but the first one is actually going to be my reselling business. So I'm going to show you guys what I do and kind of get you guys to see a day in my life thing. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So. So you guys can see this right here is a summer ray uh, sports bra and I'm actually uh, preparing it now for photographs, taking the measurements and posting it up on Poshmark and eBay. I have actually a ton and ton of items that need to be sorted. So the way that I actually kind of schedule my day and not only that but also kind of like resell items and take the time to photograph them clean them post them up is i think to myself i'm like does this item a have any flaws and issues to it and b is it worth my time or my time to invest in it and clean it um uh, steam it photograph it post it up on poshmark because all this takes a lot a lot of time you know and I'm thinking, and I think to myself, if it doesn't bring me money or what I want from it, then I'm not going to post it up because then it's not worth my time. You know, you know that saying where they say uh, time is money. It's very, very true. So you know, resell a business is because the, the items that you spend time on to source, to find, to clean is basically the time you put into it can be put into other things if it's not if it's not a good item and you won't make good money on it you know so it's time is money especially in the reseller business you gotta make you gotta pick and choose what you invest your time in because that's gonna equal to the money that you put into so i think that my, when i go through my pile of clothes i think to myself or when i go sourcing will this bring me the revenue that i want and is it worth my time so that's something I really think resellers should put uh, like think about when they go sourcing or they're like going through their own closet and stuff. When they think about reselling, because if it's not worth your time, and it's not your worth your money, or if it's not worth the money, then it's not worth your time. Yeah. So part of the whole reselling it is that unfortunately you have a little bit of issues on the items so you have to use this beauty over here so the peeler and i got this off amazon it's conair conair am i saying it right i don't know anyways and you just peel see it's so satisfactory that it when it peels off like all the peeling it's, it's very satisfactory that's how i feel it anyways that's part of the job is to kind of fix the little issues and all that so that also takes a lot of bit of time uh but yeah hey guys so today has literally been a day of me just concentrating on taking photographs and posting them up and which i already have i posted everything that i took photographs of unfortunately i was only able to photograph like nine items for whatever reason i was just it was a slow day you know it was a slow day i'm uh i took it easy but anyways i did that um i'm also now going to just clean my house because i honestly am the type of person that if my house is cluttered and not how i want it then my head is cluttered so i'm just gonna get into that I would show you guys, but I don't, I don't, I'm not the type of person that likes to go on YouTube and show how dirty my house is. No, it's not that dirty, but you know, it, it's untidy and whatnot. So I'm, yeah, that part I'm just going to leave out, but I'm going to go clean a little bit and then I'm going to come back and talk to you guys. All right, guys. So it is end of the day and I'm actually getting ready for us to go out for a little bit you know get some fresh air it's six o'clock but it, i live in canada so it gets dark really quickly um but yeah just getting ready now 
and whatnot but i did want to give a bit of a shout out so i got this wild so i got this whipped body butter so i had to find alternatives because i used to get a lot of my like my skincare products from like malls and stuff and since covid and all the malls were closed i had to find alternatives and now that we're Faces the situation, a lot of small businesses are suffering. I have decided to make a conscious, conscious decision to support smaller businesses. So I go uh, like online or when I'm ordering things that I need, I try to find stores that are smaller businesses and support them because they could really use all the help in this time and every little bit of support it makes, I'm sure it makes a difference. I know me as myself as a small, well, as like, someone who had a small business before um i would have definitely appreciated it and this is what i got i got this off etsy it is wild rose whipped body butter love spell i got a little smaller jar, jar of it um and she has a website as well it's wildrosebathcompany.com and her stuff is really really great i love it um love spell i had another one as well i think it was like more of a pumpkin scent uh, but it was really great. This actually is lasting me such a long time. I it's crazy. I think I got this like back in October, and I still am using it. Well, not this specific one. This one I actually opened two two months ago. But yeah, uh, the other one I got in October, and I've been using her products since then. Like that was the last time I ordered from her. So, oh, well, I'm saying her, but the company. So yeah, it's just it's crazy how long this has lasted for me and yeah so that is it for this part i'm just quickly gonna get ready because we're gonna go out for a little bit so i'm just gonna touch up on my makeup a little bit here um i'm putting on some chapstick because my i'm just like, getting very chapped very easily these days i don't know why probably the cold weather and then i'm gonna put on some morphe coca-cola lip gloss kind of just want to finish this one I, mean, I love the color, but like, I didn't specifically love the line. Uh, I know I did a review on it, but after I kind of used them a little while, I just realized they're not as good as the quality of like the regular line. I don't know, maybe I'm just matching it. I don't think I am actually, but uh, yeah, I, I found that it wasn't as good as their quality. And you know what? I don't know when I saw this. It was a long time ago. But someone actually made a good point that usually, oh, I think I was about Too Faced, um, usually like special edition products don't do as well as like their actual like permanent line because like the their actual product. And I don't know, I don't know that I found that to be true because a lot of times when I get special edition items, um, it's not as good of a quality as their permanent items. So. I don't know why, I don't know why they lack in that department when it comes to limited editions, you know? It kind of, it just sucks. It makes people not want to buy it because they kind of see a trend. But, I mean, it's not horrible, but like, you know, I, I just want to finish it. I don't want to just throw it out. So I'm just going to keep using it. It does give, us a, give a nice finish though. So, that, and then, hmm, don't know if I want to do anything else. No, I think that's it. I think that's it's all I'm going to do for makeup. I did something very simple today. I added this on the e.l.f. and I just put mascara on. Oh, and by the way, I have to mention this. Marc Jacobs make, uh, mascara is amazing and I'm definitely going to be purchasing this very, very soon. I got this gift, this as a Christmas gift that it's like was a bunch of samples and there was a certificate to get like the full size. So I'm actually gonna go in and get the full sizes. It's amazing. And yeah, that is it. So there's that. Anyways guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna shut off for the rest of the night. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And I did wanna say, if you guys like these vlogs, please let me know and make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram which is Beluminous92, and on Twitter, which is Beluminous. And I will see you guys soon. Yeah, I don't know why I have to think about that, but I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.